Hello everyone, and welcome back to Zeus Tech. Hello everyone. So today in this video, we're gonna be doing more of object orientation inside of Python. And in this video, we're gonna be actually starting to use use the main use of classes in Python, which is to store similar code and information together. So before we begin, if you haven't watched my previous two videos about object orientation, you sh I highly recommend watching those unless you have prior knowledge in classes in Python. And even if you ha do have prior knowledge, I still recommend watching those because there may be certain things that you don't want to know. And I really want you to stay like up to speed before we do this. So as you hear, I just made a simple class. I just made a like, student. So I've just made three parameters name age row number and I fill them in here my name my age and a random number I don't even know what this is and then I made display function and I just used called it and then yeah you see here it displays everything so now that we've created this you may maybe that we want some other function like another functionality for this student class say maybe like the average for example so what we're doing here <coughs> Sorry for that. that. We're gonna make an average. Uh, if I could spell average, average, and then we have our average function. I'm gonna just put pass here for now to make sure there's no error. So now we have our function average, and what we're gonna do here is that we're gonna put three parameters: mark one, mark two, mark three. And the reason why we're doing this is because we want the user to enter these in. And one thing, in functions and in classes, never use the input function. The day that the time that you use the input function is the time that you're doing everything wrong. Because the thing is that say that we ha say that we want the, the person to enter the list, like whoever's using the class or whoever using the function, say that they have a list of like a thousand people, a thousand records. How are they going to type all that down? It's in a list for a reason. So that's why you should always make sure that you have parameters instead of the input function. And now, so we have three parameters, mark one, mark two, mark three. And then we're gonna make total equal mark one plus mark two plus mark three. Average equals total divided by three, uh, okay. And then we're gonna print average. So what we're doing here is that we're just calculating the average and if you guys don't know the um, formula for average, it's just add add all the values together and divide it by the number of values that you that we have. And now we're now we're gonna print it. So if we run this, you see that nothing has changed. And the reason for that is because as you see here, we've called the function display. So same for the same thing, we have to call the function average. And then we can specify mark 1, 100, mark 2, 98, mark 3, 2. So for example, and if you run this, we see it's 66, 66.666, 66, like a bunch of numbers. And just to prove that it works, let's just do 100, 100, and 100. And you see the average is 100. So that's just to show that how it works. And yeah, so this is how we made, this is how we make a multiple function class. And let me just randomize this up. And let me just go through the steps again. So we make a function and inside the function we do whatever you want. You can do like a print, you can just print something or you can make a whole entire like if loop and stuff like that, a whole database, whatever you want. And now, then the only way we can use a function though is by using the instance that we made, s1, dot, and the name of the function. And if you guys ha are using a public class that's like shared to the public, then you will probably be able to um, see like, there, you will probably be able to see in the directory or where we got the function from, the amount of functions that we have inside the class. So yeah, this is how you make fun multiple functions in python using object orientation so if you liked the video please leave it a like and subscribe comment down below how it was turn on the post notifications to get notified whenever i release a new video 
And with that said, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.